Thanks, Green. Uh, to follow up a little bit on that, the week ahead after Wednesday, there were no public events for the president. Is that so he can take a more hands-on approach to the spending deal if necessary? And can we expect him to drop by that anti-Semitism roundtable on Wednesday? It's a good question. I don't have anything to preview at this time on uh, on if he will be able to stop by. Uh, clearly, we're always working through the president's schedule, as you know. But just to lay out uh, the president's engagement on on the uh, as as we're discussing the government funding uh, uh, bill. Look, as you know, he had the big four la here last week in leadership to talk about. They talked about this. You, you saw it in the readout. Uh, he met with uh, uh, with President Leahy and, and uh, President, pardon me, uh, Senator Le Senators Leahy and Shelby uh, to have the discussion about the omnibus bill. Uh, and so the president is going to continue to have those conversations. He's going to continue to be involved. I don't have anything to preview at this time on uh, on what the rest of his schedule is going to look like and for the week. As it pertains to Wednesday, <laughs> Also, could we expect remarks from him regardless of what happens in Georgia uh, on Wednesday? And then lastly, the president, he didn't end up going to Georgia during the, the campaign to campaign for Raphael Warnock. He hasn't been during the runoff election. Why is that? So look, um, I need to be careful, the Hatch Act. Uh, this is an ongoing, uh, as you know, um, uh, election with this particular, what we're seeing, the runoff in, in uh, Georgia. So I want to be really careful here. But I have said many times before at this podium that the president will do anything that uh, that he can do uh, for Senator Warnock to be helpful to him. As you all have seen on the president's schedule recently, he's done a high volume of fundraising, uh, attended several uh, political events, including phone banks and unions and much, and, and uh, with unions and much more. Uh, look, the way that we see this, uh, if you think about the midterms that just occurred, uh, the president played a big role here. He set the narrative on how Democrats uh, uh, were going to move forward uh, in the midterms, how they were going to talk about uh, the successes that they had, how they how they were going to talk about what was important uh, to American families, right? They made that contrast uh, with Republican electeds, Republican officials who were talking about uh, getting rid of Social Security, putting that on the chopping block, putting Medicare on the chopping block. Uh, he talked about the freedoms of, of the American people wanted as it relates to Roe v. Wade and how uh, we saw the Supreme Court uh, get rid of Roe. And we talked about that and how Republicans wanted to uh, put uh, a national ban. Uh, they were pushing for a national ban. Uh, and it didn't matter which states, if you're a red or blue state. And this is the thing that the president talked about and others followed. Uh, so the president played a big role in in setting that narrative, setting that contrast. And let's not forget the successes that we have seen, his economic policy successes, as we talk about the bipartisan infrastructure legislation, uh, the Infl in, uh, Inflation Reduction Act. Those are the things that the president uh, was able to get done, uh, and Democrats were able to run on it.